paint all the things. Hello everyone and welcome to Forkmaster's vlog for the Warmer for the Fasting gaming system created by Games Workshop based in the UK. And this is going to be a special video because I'm going to be summarizing a lot of days. So this is going to be day uh, 39, 30, day 39 up to day 52. It's been roughly two weeks since I last updated here on the vlog. There has been a, couple, uh, a few videos in between here that was pre-recorded, but this is the first uh, proper update I had for the vlog. And uh, if you remember in my last video, I said that I was going to take one week off to play some video games because I did needed to do something else and uh, and all that. And that was during the first week back at work. The problem is. The day I woke up, I felt in my throat, damn, my throat is really sore. I, and I thought I had a small cold that was developing. And since in Sweden we don't have any restrictions anymore, they, they are more or less, if you don't have any of the truly proper, uh, that's my washing machine in the background, so if you hear it, I apologize, but I had to run it because it was full. So, uh, if you don't have any of the truly proper symptoms like fever, coughing, and I mean coughing a lot, no taste, no sense of smell, you know, the, the key elements that usually is, is associated with the, the Nurgle's, Nurgle's Plague. We're gonna call it the Nurgle's Plague because the C word usually gets the videos demonetized uh, w w instantly. So we're gonna keep it, we're gonna call it the Nurgle's Plague. So if you don't have any of the symptoms for the Nurgle's Plague, uh, you are supposed to go to work as usual and I don't want to lose any money so I felt that I go to work and we'll see uh, but when I got to work it got worse and worse and worse so I had to take some fever reducing tablets for it to get down my throat so I could actually talk because I was it, it was like sw swelling up um, then in the afternoon me and my colleagues were, went to a small farm outside of where we uh, work uh, to visit the uh, Carolus von Linnea, the, the guy who invented the system of categorizing plants and animals with Latin words. Uh, I'm not sure if he's world recognized, but uh, he should be because he's Swedish and he's awesome. Uh, he did have slaves, and I was probably did have probably have some terrible world views because this was in the 18th century. But he was still Swedish, so that makes him automatically. A little bit cool. Anyway, uh, while when we got there, it was really hot because the sun was out. There was no, uh, barely any wind outside, no clouds, and I felt directly something is wrong with me because my eyes could not handle the brightness of the sun. So I was starting crying. The heat was too much uh, for me. My head. I was like, I, I need to get out of here. I need to get to some shade. Uh, but when I got to the shade, it was got a, a little bit better, but uh, <clears throat> yeah. Uh, then when I got home, after being a, a whole day at work, I, and well, I was uh, bicycling home, my head started pounding, was like getting the world worst headache ever, and, and by that time I realized, yeah, this is not a small cold, this is an actual fever. I haven't had a, a proper fever in like over a decade, I, I think I was... I was 21 years old when I had my last fever, proper fever. At the, that was a time when my parents were splitting up and having a divorce. Uh, and I had a lot to do at the university. Uh, long story short, it was, it was a very stressful time. Uh, I have been sort of sick since then. I had a couple of uh, f f stomach f poisonings and uh, stomach flus and all that. But it's been over a decade since I last had a proper fever. And I was like, all right, I hope this is not this, the Nurgle's Plague. I hope it would uh, pass. But it didn't pass. The fever was lasting from the, the Monday when I was uh, back at school. And it lasted up until the first day. Uh, the first night I had the worst fever trips ever. And uh, it was the strangest sleep of night. Um, nights of sleep I've had in a long time. Uh, the second day the fever stayed on, it was above 38 degrees Celsius and if you have the other system, the Fahrenheit system, screw you, I'm not gonna explain the difference, you'll have to look it up yourself. 
So 38, usually I am at a 36 and a half in degrees, so that's almost two degrees higher than I usually am. Uh, and it lasted then on the Wednesday, on the third day, that's when I started coughing. And I coughed so much it felt like my lungs was gonna throw up from my, uh, from my throat and, uh, and mouth because it... And the, the problem was also, while I was, every time I coughed, my head hurt so much. So, uh, th th I think that was probably the worst day out of them all. Then on the first day, I actually received some home test kits uh, that I've ordered earlier in the uh, beginning of the week. Because I felt, I really need to make sure that this isn't the Nurgle's Plague. I really have to make sure that this is just, just, just a regular fever. Uh, so I, I brought out the test, I wiggled around in the nose and uh, I remember a feeling when I was nurgling, uh, wiggling around there in the nose that suddenly it started burning up here. I don't know why, it started burning up here. Uh, I started crying because, uh, because it, uh, it's so uncomfortable being up there in the nose. And then my throat and uh, lungs wanted to, to cough at the same time, so there, there was also a very un... Uh, really, how do you call it? Uh, gross out feeling. <clears throat> <clears throat> yeah, sorry, as you see, I still haven't recovered it properly yet. And uh, then I sat down afterwards while I was waiting for the test and I started eating. And my usual, uh, I, I have, I pr pretty much had the same type of uh, breakfast since I, like nine years back I, I had this the same type of breakfast and I was feeling why does it feel like I'm eating uh, um, a carton what's it called you know boxes that's made out of uh, special uh, not paper but uh, it, it smells like uh, it felt like eating a tasteless uh, box out of uh, yeah that thing maybe it should be a word down here that explains what, what, what I'm talking about and I'm like, why does it taste anything? And then I do one thing to another and I realize, yeah, you have the Nurgle's Plague. And the test, uh, which should be show, I think I should have a picture for it. Uh, and the test showed pretty obviously, yeah, you have the Nurgle's Plague. And that's when I realized, yeah, I, I was down with the sickness. And I felt really bad because uh, I think I accidentally uh, made at least two other people sick back at work because it spread like a plague around my colleagues. So a lot of people got sick that week and they were sick the week after too. Uh, but th th so that's when I lost my this sense of smell. I think that was what, what was burning. It burned up the, the things, the receptors that makes me able to smell. And at the same time, I lost my uh, tastes, um, um, sense of taste too. Uh, and, and that lasted for a couple of days. I think uh, roughly 95% of my my uh, taste smell, um, sense of smell, uh, taste is back. I don't know how much of my smell is affected because I think I had a um, um, uh, lowered uh, ability to smell before that because often people complain that oh it smells bad here and I'm like can't taste, can't smell it. So I, I think I already had bad s smell uh, smell organ from the beginning, and now it, so I, I, it's so it's hard for me to compare before and after when it comes to the smellings uh, because because of that. But I do know that my s smell uh, tasting is back. <coughs> Though the problem with my uh, Nurgle's pig that I got, I think it was an <coughs> an Omicron variant. And according to Google, instead of uh, fixating, oh sorry about my phone here, uh, instead of fixating on my lungs, that like the earlier variants did, it has uh, situated on my throat, and th this has left me with symptoms for almost two weeks now that I have uh, constantly a dry throat, it's a sore throat, and it feels like I always uh, have to <coughs> to uh, get out whatever is stuck in my throat and it's really annoying. But to be fair, since I got the Nurgle's Plague and I don't have any 
long lasting long effects on my lungs like for instance I have two colleagues that developed a, a asthma because of that sickness it's more situated to my throat which was problematic to begin with so I think I'm blessed when it comes to that yeah there's some kids playing outside so if you hear that I apologize for that too uh, anyway, so meanwhile, while I was sick, I, I I had barely an energy to do anything. Watching videos was uh, exhausting because it was boring, to be honest. So the only thing I could do was more or less play some video games uh, in small doses while uh, my brain was still um, able to do to do that. So I did play a couple of a little bit of video games during the first week. The second week when I was back to work uh, and when the, the, the big uh, serious thing started when I was uh, uh, bringing, uh, welcoming back the students and um, kind of have a proper lesson and all that, uh, I felt that I, I, I'm too tired when I come home. Maybe I, uh, so, so that's why I decided to prolong my gaming week to two weeks instead. Only today I decided that well I'm gonna put the compu uh, gaming computer away for a little while and now I'm gonna bring back the hobby. But here comes the big thing. Today is the 21st of August. That means that there's roughly, is it nine days left? Uh, 10 days, uh, roughly uh, around 10 days left of the, the month. I'm gonna be working at least, f um, is it five or seven of those days. So they, there won't be enough time for me to finish the, the summer hobby that I had intended to do. As I said in the previous video, I'm gonna prolong my uh, painting challenge through the end of August. I will not be able to finish that. So I think I will have to say in the current state that, <coughs> sorry, that I failed the challenge, but I will still continue to try and finish up my Black Legion army. We'll see if I do any more updates because it's, uh, as you see, no, my throat is uh, a bit, I, I need to, <laughs> I, I need to um, watch out my throat so it can uh, try and uh, rehabilitate itself. I have done a couple of uh, gaming videos during my uh, Nurgle's Plague uh, time, but if you think my throat sounds bad now, you should know how bad it sounds back then and I don't know if I will be able to try and fix up the sound by re-recording something here and afterwards. We'll see what I do about it. Anyway, so that's an update for now. We'll see if this comes up on today on this Sunday or if it's gonna be up tomorrow on a Monday. It all depends on if my computer, because my computer has been very slow while I started it up again and um, we'll see if it's gonna be troublesome or not. Anyway, so that's the update for now. We'll see what happens in the future. I have a whole month in October planned out, so you will have that at least to look forward for too. But I think for the last, the rest of um, August and September is going to be a little bit more sparse when it comes to video updates. So just to, just so you know. Anyway, thank you very much for watching this video. That's how uh, it felt getting the Nurgle's Plague for a change. Uh, for a change. Uh, so I hope you all stay safe. Keep distance and all that because there's still a pandemic out there. And take care, everybody. Bye bye.